So yesterday we were at Rice University looking at their solar decathlon zero house and the architect Danny told us that they had a place to install the house after the competition. They were going to bring it down to here to a place called Row House CDC and I'm here with Alan Lee. Yes. And you are? I'm the executive director. Executive here. director. So it looks like you've got a, a really cool model of the neighborhood here. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Okay, so actually the model that you're looking at, uh, the Rice students under Danny Samuels has created our little community in uh, this inset table. And it started on the corner there with Project Row House and the single story uh, row houses or what we also used to call them as shotgun houses. Mm -hmm. So those are these ones over yeah, here. these houses here. And they're pretty much called shotgun houses because you open the front door, you're going to open the back door and you can see straight through them. Shoot so a shotgun, shoot, right? Shotgun there, shotgun just jump through. into the room. Exactly. And so the founder of Project Row Houses, which has their office here on the corner, started this as a arts and cultural history, social services organization. And what came out of that is uh, the need for housing here in the neighborhood. And about five years ago, they started the Community Development Corporation, which is where you are now, okay. with uh, Rice and Danny Samuel. They took input from the community, and you know, we wanted to keep the same type of metal roofing that the original shotgun houses had. So we started looking at how do we build a low capacity. We have a young mother's program here in these seven homes. How do we build housing that would transition those young mothers into, and how can we continue to make it affordable? Uh, Rice and, and Danny came up with the design of a duplex to kind of maximize our property that we currently own. And the first eight, these four homes here, which are duplexes on top of each other, two bedrooms, they rent now for about four sixty, four seventy-five. We're one hundred percent occupied, and uh, it's great. Great. So you, you've got duplexes for families, okay. and and you've got areas for single moms, young moms. And you were saying that these over here are for artists? Or? Yes, so these 11 here are for art studios. And about three or four times a year, um, our art director will schedule uh, artists to come in from all over the world to do an art installation. And it is one, it, sometimes it is indicative to the area, but uh, there is a theme that brings uh, the culture and the art and the community together. But what are we looking at here? It looks like there's a big building out That's there. That's a pavilion, a... right. And actually, this is, um, we gave this property to Rice Builders Workshop. Okay. And for each semester, they'd have a, a series of students that would come over, and this would be their practical workspace, if uh -huh. you will. So they get the academic in the classroom, yep. and then they get the practical the job out site. here in the field and the job site. And so there, there were two containers, and one was a metal shop, and the other one was a wood shop. All right. And I so think we saw the wood shop out there yesterday. Yeah, so they bring the students out and you give them a house and say, hey, let's you know, bring this house back up to a livable space or bring it back to an artist space or whatever. Cool. So the kids were rebuilding these houses. Mm -hmm. These ones were built by well, these, who? Uh, this one was built by the students. By the students. But we, well, I, I had a builder for this one and a builder for these. Okay, great. Well, thanks for spending your time. I know you've no you got to get off to a meeting, so yes. you've got a lot of important work to do. I appreciate trying, it. Trying. Thank you. Thank you. Glad you were able to come.